just can't forget your love. I just can't My name is JJ Prince, and I'm a singer, songwriter, and recording artist. I think about you every day. I mean, some three words. Um, dance floor? That's one word, right? <laughs> love songs. Dance floor love songs. <laughs> My style is um, androgynous, glamorous. It's about combining kind of masculine with feminine. I like to kind of blur that line of gender. Um, you know, it's kind of just a little black, monochromatic, you know, very kind of like sleek and chic. Usually would say it's kind of like aggressive femininity. <laughs> Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> The first single from my new project is called Devotion. Um, it was produced by Placebo and Dakota, um, and it's it's a it's a house pop dance floor track about um, a lover you just can't get over, a relationship you just can't get over. You know, it's kind of equal parts me looking back and reminiscing. Um, and then it's also me in the moment being obsessed and unable to get enough of that person. It's kind of two perspectives, and that's kind of um, the angle that we went with in the visual as well. The music video was directed by Robbie Litsky, who's done all my music videos. We've collaborated on so many projects together. He's just a dream, and we work together so well. Um, and the music video is kind of this fantasy sort of take on uh, a dance rehearsal. You know, I walk into the studio, I warm up, I stretch, and then when that beat drops, it switches. And I kind of like that there's that really natural, casual look along with the more like glamorous, stylized uh, looks when the when the beat drops uh, on the two choruses. And that's kind of the, the two perspectives of the songs, if that makes sense. <laughs> The second single is called Down, it was produced by Shaylin and Will Clemens um, and it's another house pop song, you know, keeping with the theme but it's a little bit more sexy, a little bit more sort of uh, vibrant um, very much about being in the moment um, and giving in to sort of temptation and lust and all those things and you know, I, kind of, I wrote the song in January 2020, way before Covid or any of those things happened and over the, 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 the whole year where I was working on it and recording demos and rewriting the lyrics, it kind of took on a whole different vibe. You know, initially it was this sort of sexy song about like hooking up, and then it became a love letter to all the things that we couldn't do last year. You know, couldn't twirl on sway dance floors or kiss beautiful strangers or just even be out and about, you know? Um, so it kind of took on this whole new life. And now that we're slowly but surely getting back to normality, I kind of hope it's going to be the, the soundtrack for people. Uh, Reconnecting with who they used to be. It's been round and round. Boy, you take me down, 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 down. The music video was such a dream. Um, I worked with Rob again, uh, and John Hawkes started the music video with me. Uh, very handsome. Uh, the music video is kind of it was a it was a dream for me. Like I was sat on that for a really really long time. Um, and I really wanted to bring it to life in the most perfect way. So we really took our time and we found the right place to shoot it. But it's an amazing house um, with this crazy interior and this brilliant sort of... It was just an absolute orgasm for me. Yeah, it's kind of me whipping my hair and dancing around this house and also kind of imagining this phantom lover and then ultimately kind of finding him and making out with him and then we roll around in bed and have a good time. <laughs> I'm inspired by so many things. Um, I think at the moment I'm really in this space of like loving sort of dance music combined with pop lyrics and hooks with like housey dance EDM uh, beats. That's a place I'm kind of existing at the moment. I'm inspired by classic pop. I'm inspired by 90s, you know, house and all those things. I'm just I'm inspired by someone. I'm inspired by fashion. I'm inspired by beautiful men. I'm inspired by beautiful women. You know, this entire EP really is sort of. Um, this strange obsession about a relationship I've never gotten over, inspired by anything that I'm obsessed with at the moment. And I guess when I was writing this EP, I sort of realised that I was writing a lot of songs that could have been applied to that relationship. Um, so I wrote, I wrote four songs. I mean, I wrote way more than four. I wrote like twelve songs and whittled it down to four. So put your hands up on me, baby, come me free. At the moment, like I said, I'm writing a lot about. Um, 
while I was writing a lot about this one thing, I was writing a lot about romance and love and failed relationships and, you know, immediate connection that kind of fizzles out, you know, that spark that just never quite lights a full fire. But, you know, I've, I've ironically, I've already written my next project. <laughs> it's like ready to go. Uh, and it's a lot darker, a lot more honest, a lot more vulnerable, you know, a lot more emotional, less about romance and love and relationships, more about kind of personal struggle and overcoming your inner demons and all that sort of stuff. I mean, I put out a song called Spotlight back in February that was produced by um, Nilsson, Iggy Boy and Dakota. Um, and I think that is more lyrically at least in the vein of what my next project will be. But it'll definitely still be within the same vein of like dance music and heist music and um, you know, just being a bit more, a bit more vulnerable, a bit more honest, a bit more open. 2021 hopefully holds a lot more than 2020 did. <laughs> I'd love to you know, I just love to get back on stage and keep writing and keep recording and keep kind of creating. You know, this has been the most, 2020, even though it was an awful year, was the most productive year creatively of my life um, in a really long time. I wrote so much music. I wrote like hundreds of songs. I would sit down and write like two or three songs a day. So I'd love to write for other artists. I'd love to collaborate with other artists. Um, you know, 2020 was an exciting year. I also, I'd love to just like get back to normal. <laughs> and, like live a normal life. That would be kind of fun. My name is JJ Prince and you can check out all my brand new music on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon Music, Tidal, wherever you stream your music. My debut EP First Kiss will be coming out in August and my singles Devotion and Dine are already available. Keep your eye out for the next single and there's lots more to come this year, so keep your eyes out.